hello welcome back to my channel so for today's video I thought I would run through my must-have pieces for your spring wardrobe these are just really great classic pieces stuff that you can wear again and again and just pieces that I love I'm gonna do cutaways of me wearing them in the video and I'll have everything linked in the description box below if anything's out of stock I will link something very similar but before we get into the video if you could please subscribe to my channel and give me a follow on Instagram I have loads of styling reels and photos so you can see loads of different ways to wear these lovely pieces so to begin I'm gonna start off with the classic trench coat I think these are such a great basic for spring and summer and for autumn as well. They're just such a beautiful throw on coat, really lovely and lightweight. And I think there's something about trench coats that just looks so effortless and cool and they are so timeless. So this is my mango trench coat, I got this last summer. I really love it, it's a lovely kind of stone beige colour. I personally don't like trenches that are too yellow or too brown so I thought this was a really lovely option for me. I will include cutaways so you can see how I style it but I think you can't go wrong with wearing this with a great pair of jeans, a white t-shirt or a bodysuit, some trainers or boots and I think this looks really lovely. What I especially love about trench coats is that they come in so many different colours and fabrics, so if this is something that's not your cup of tea, you can explore with loads of different options. I do have a really gorgeous dark green trench coat. This trench coat is also from Mango, and I just love the shade of it. I thought it was really nice and different, a lovely way to inject a bit of colour into your wardrobe, if, like me, you don't wear too many colours. I thought an olive green just looked so flattering on every skin type. And what I especially like to look out on trench coats are the buttons. I find that buttons can really make or break an item, but what I love about this one is that it's got really lovely tortoiseshell buttons and it's also got a lovely cuff detailing. I think it's small details like this that really make the trench coat look elevated and more expensive, so that's something definitely to look out for, but I absolutely love these. I think they look so classic and are just a great way to add a little layer in the spring season. I'll have a look and link some leather and faux leather trench coats in the description box as well if that's something that you're also interested in. But I think next I want to talk about long sleeve t-shirts. These kind of long sleeve t-shirts are another really great staple for your wardrobe. I've got a plain black one, a plain white one, but I really like this striped one just as a way of adding something different into my wardrobe and incorporating a bit of a pattern. I got this from H&M and I'm really happy with it. It's just a really simple black and white stripe. And again, it's just a basic that goes with everything. These look great with jeans. You can wear them with leather leggings. They look really nice worn with trench coats or leather jackets or denim jackets. Just a really great versatile piece and really affordable as well. Shirts are also a really great staple to have in your spring wardrobe. As you can see, I'm wearing this really lovely kind of navy blue shirt, which is from Zara. And I've also been loving wearing linen shirts. Again, I think they're just a really great way of adding other textures into your wardrobe and I really like the kind of effortless crease style that linen has I think there's something so relaxed about it they're just so classic these kind of shirts are always in fashion and you can't really go wrong with this this one I got from Zara this is actually a cropped fit that you'll be able to see in the cutaways and again you can experiment with the colors but I think if you're looking for one, I would just go for a classic white linen. This next one isn't the most exciting, but it is such a great staple, and that is a really well-made white t-shirt. I've got this one from And Other Stories, and it's a really lovely oversized fit. I love how it's got a drop shoulder. I think that looks really nice and flattering, and it's got a really wide panel along the neckline. Those are just small details that I like to look for with these kinds of t-shirts. And there's not really much more to say. I just think these are so versatile with jeans, with shorts in the summer as well and they're just a great throw on for every day. I do have a couple of different style of white t-shirts so this one as I mentioned is just like a loose oversized version but I do have a more boxy thicker t-shirt from H&M. I'd really recommend And Other Stories and Arquette if you're looking for a particularly well made white t-shirt but you can also get these on ASOS and H&M and they're really affordable as well so a great classic and I just had to mention it. Continuing with basic tops I really love these Halter Neck ribbed vest tops 
They are such a great staple and I've got loads in a bunch of different colours. Again, these look really lovely with jeans or shorts and I love wearing them underneath a chunky knit cardigan. I did that loads last year and it's just so comfortable for every day. What I particularly like about these is that they've got a really nice high neck. So sometimes it's nice to feel a bit more covered up at the front and I really love the shape on the back. I think it's so flattering. And I also have this really lovely stone coloured one. This is also from H&M and I just really love the shape and the fit of this. They're so nicely fitted but they're not uncomfortable to wear and this one's got a bit more of a cut out detailing on the back which I think looks really flattering. Just FYI with these kind of tops I just wear like strapless bras and they work really well and you can't see them with the cutouts but I love the colour of this one and I'm really really happy with it. I've been saying this loads on my Instagram but I'm so happy that we are now back in blazer season. I absolutely love blazers. I have a bit of a collection because they are so great for this in-between season. They look so chic, worn with just a basic white t-shirt like I've shown, a pair of great jeans and this over the top. I wanted to give a mention to this particular one. This one is from And Other Stories and it's this really beautiful wool blazer so it's a lot thicker than my other blazers so it's really great for this time of year and the quality is just amazing. I think I mentioned this in a favourites recently because it is so well made. It is a bit more expensive. This is £165. However, the quality is so beautiful and I know that it's going to last really, really well. So if you're looking to invest in a really good quality blazer, I would definitely recommend And Other Stories. I really love the shape. This is much more structured kind of blazer, so it sits quite firmly on the shoulders, opposed to a lot of the relaxed loose flowy blazers that I have but I really really like it and they do this style in a bunch of different colours so I'll have them linked below but I just wanted to mention this one and I also wanted to show this white blazer just an example of a much more loose flowy blazer to wear in spring and in summer as well. This one is from H&M and they always bring out really gorgeous loose flowy blazers in loads of different colours. But I thought this was such a nice one. It also came with matching trousers so I thought that together would look really really cool. But again you could wear these with denim, you could wear these with shorts. I just think a blazer is a really easy way to make your outfit look a little bit more chic and perfect when you've got that day to night situation and you want to feel a bit more dressed up for a dinner, I just pop on a blazer. I think it is such a fail safe so I'm really really happy with this as well. Right moving on to leather jackets which is my next spring wardrobe staple. This is one that I got recently from H&M which is a really lovely boxy loose oversized style but I also have a very cropped fitted one from Topshop which I got a few years ago. I will have some similar ones linked and that works so nicely worn over the top of dresses because it cuts just above your waist so it looks super flattering and then this one is much more boxy and relaxed and I think this looks really really cool with some loose ripped mom jeans as well. You can now get really great affordable faux leather jackets on ASOS, on H&M and they look really gorgeous. You can also invest £100, £150 in great quality jackets as well so there's something for everybody but I absolutely love them. I always have and I'm really really happy with this one. I'm going to talk about classic coats. If you follow me on Instagram you might recognise this. This is a classic cream calf length coat. I got this from H&M. I got it last year but they still have it in stock which is amazing and I also have it in black and I wear the two all the time all year round because honestly they just go with everything. They can be layered up in the cold but they also work really well in the spring and transitional months. For me, I've just found that this style of coat works really well. They look nice and tailored because of the shape of the lapels, but they also have a really lovely relaxed silhouette. As you'll be able to see, they don't actually have a seam at the shoulder, so it just falls so nicely. It looks really elegant without looking too boxy and oversized and I just think they go with everything. I've worn these with smart trousers and heels for like an office type look, but I also wear these like every day with jeans. They look so chic and beautiful, so I had to mention these. I have this style of a coat in a dark green, I've got it in a grey, I've got the cream and the black, and I also have a coat that I'm going to show you in camel, but this particular style of coat I just think is so classic 
and a really great layering piece for this spring season. I just have to quickly show you my lovely wrap coat from Mango. I absolutely love this style of coat. I think it works really well having a different colour coat in your wardrobe and there's something about this camel shade that I think just looks so flattering on every skin tone and again I really love the structured lapels and the dropped shoulder detailing. These camel coats are always in style in the spring and in the autumn. Again they look really lovely with a white t-shirt, with jeans but also with structured black tailored trousers. If you work in an office, I think this could look really classy. So I absolutely love this one. I did buy this from Mango at the end of last summer. They always have similar ones in stock and Zara do as well, so I'll have a bunch linked below. But I would definitely recommend if you're looking to add a little bit of color into your wardrobe. Denim jackets are such a great staple. They're always in fashion every spring and summer. And I love wearing these with dresses. This is a really lovely cropped one, which is from Zara. I really love the colour of the denim and I love all the distress detailings on this one. What I think is particularly great about having a cropped jacket is that it's so flattering. As much as I like the look of a super oversized long denim jacket, when I wear them I don't think it really suits me, whereas having something more cropped just sits really nicely above the waist and they work so well wearing them with dresses. I also wear this with jeans as well, but I wanted to give this one a shout out. I'll have a bunch linked below as this one is quite old but I think these are a really great piece for your spring wardrobe. I feel like this whole video I've been banging on about wearing stuff with jeans. I wear jeans all the time and I think they're so great, especially in the spring. So I wanted to show you my favorite pair. These are my Topshop mom jeans. They were originally called the premium mom jeans and now they're on ASOS. They're called the tapered mom jeans or something. I'll have the exact pair linked below for you. They're essentially just a really lovely high-waisted, very skinny type of mom jean. As we're able to see, they're very fitted at the ankle, they fit really nicely along the leg, and I just think they're a really great flattering pair of jeans. And what I particularly love is that they're a really nice light wash pale denim, and they just go with everything. I would wear them with this blue shirt, I'd wear them with literally everything that I've shown on the rail. I'm five foot four and I get these in a leg 30, so they just sit nice and cropped. They're the perfect length to wear with ankle boots and trainers. I just really, really love them, so I had to give these a shout out. So I see those jeans as like my classic everyday go-to jeans, and these are a pair of ripped mum jeans that are from Zara. I really like that these are way more relaxed and oversized, they're a little bit more slouchy, but still look really nice and put together, and I think they just make a really great difference from having a super fitted pair of jeans. So if I'm wearing this halter neck ribbed vest top that I showed you before, I would go for these ripped mum jeans, just because I like the contrast of having something a little bit more loose and comfortable on the bottom, and I just feel a bit more comfortable rather than wearing everything that's super tight and fitted. Or if I wanted to change it up, I would have my striped long sleeve top, and then I would pop on my black leather jacket over the top, and again, I think that would be a really nice combination as well. So, blue jeans, they're really obvious, really basic, but I think they're great for every day, and you can wear them so many different ways in your wardrobe. The final pair of jeans, and then I will be moving on, is this really lovely cream eat crew jeans that I got from ASOS. These are a really lovely fit. They are by the brand Reclaimed Vintage, and as you can see, they've got really nice brown stitching along the pocket. Pockets. These just make a really nice difference from wearing blue jeans and I think they look so cool. I like wearing these just with a plain white t-shirt like I mentioned before, with some sandals or trainers and again they're a really good basic. I would recommend going for cream trousers like these rather than a bright white just because they're a bit more practical to wear out and about. You don't have to worry about sitting in something and getting a stain as much. But I really love these. These are a straight cropped leg. So as you'll be able to see in the cutaways, they just fit really nicely above my ankle. And again, I just don't think you can go wrong. Another really great wardrobe staple for spring would be midi dresses. I think these are so nice and so comfortable to wear. I don't know about you, but I don't love getting my legs out in spring. It is still a little bit chilly, so I think a midi dress is a really practical and flattering way to wear something a bit different. This one is from H&M last year. It's this really beautiful high neck polka dot midi dress. I wanted to show this because I do think polka dots are a really nice print to incorporate in spring. As you'll be aware, I don't wear many prints, but I do think stripes and polka dots are really wearable. It does have a leg split, which is really nice and flattering, particularly because the rest is so covered up. 
but I really really love this and I've got a couple more to show you. I also wanted to show you a black option, it's kind of hard to see this dress but I will show you in the cutaways. Again this is so versatile, it's a piece that can be dressed up or down. If I was wearing this in the daytime I might put on a denim jacket over the top, wear this with some white trainers, some sandals or flip flops. But then if I wanted to dress this up a little bit, I would just swap that out for some heeled sandals, maybe a clutch bag, add some jewellery, and I think that works really well. This one was from ASOS, and I think it was under £25, so you can find these at a really affordable price point. And I love that this one had really gorgeous floaty sleeves, especially if you don't like getting your arms out, I think something like this is really flattering and you still feel nice and comfortable wearing it. Those are all the main clothing items that I would recommend for your spring wardrobe. Now we're going to move on to accessories which is the fun part for me. First off I would have to say a basket bag is a really great option for spring and for summer as well. I really like the texture of basket bags. They make a really nice change from just having black leather boring bags. This one is actually from Mango last year but Zara do a really cute mini version of this so I will have that linked for you and then this one I got from ASOS it's really similar to the mango one but the only difference is the fact that it's got a metal chain strap and this one was super cheap it was on sale I think it was about £18 so I'll have that linked below and if basket bags aren't your thing I think a canvas tote bag makes for a really good spring wardrobe essential again it's just a really nice different texture for the spring I really like this one's got a detachable little compartment it also has a zip along the top which is way more practical and if you want to keep your bits secure. So I would definitely recommend something like this as well. Next I've got a couple pairs of shoes to show you. I think espadrilles are a really great shoe for spring. This pair I got from ASOS and I really love the dual toned leather. They're very reminiscent of Chanel ballet pumps but a really nice modern take on them. They've got really nice stitching as well along the sides and along the leather. And they're really comfy to wear actually. I have tried these out and I do really like them. ASOS do so many types of these espadrilles. They have open toe sandals, but I do really like the closed toe ones as well. And again, you could wear them with so much of the stuff that I've shared with you. They look really nice with jeans and a t-shirt and a denim jacket but they're also really, really great to wear with dresses. I just think these are really versatile and a great option if you don't want to wear trainers. And then the second pair of espadrilles that I wanted to share were these flat form espadrilles. These are in a black material and they also have the toe detailing, which I really like, but because they're flat form, they're really lovely and flattering and these make a great option to wear with dresses as well. So I had to give those a shout out. If you follow my Instagram, this next pair of shoes will not be a surprise to you. They are my Converse's. I think these make such a great shoe for spring because they come a little bit higher up on your ankles. They do give you a little bit more warmth compared to just wearing a flat type of trainer. These are the platform Converse. They do come a little bit higher up, which I really like and they're in the white leather. And the other pair that I've been really, really loving are just my black canvas Converse. Again, they look really cool. I actually wore these the other day with the E-Crew stone jeans and a white t-shirt and I thought this looked really, really nice with them. Again, a really versatile piece nice and wearable and I just think they look really good as well. So those are all of my must-have pieces for spring. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. As I mentioned, everything will be linked in the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week for another video.